the truth about Pomu's graduation. Oh, 07, 07 Queen, 07 Queen. Over at Nijisanji English's Pomu Rainpuff, who, as I'm sure you all already know by time watching this video, has officially graduated as no. of last night. She held an extremely long 10 and a half hour live stream as her final stream inside of Nijisanji, where she chatted with her fans, chatted with Nijisanji members, and played a ton of games with Nijisanji members as well. She ended the stream off by chatting more with her fans and then finally having one last goodbye before officially ending the live stream and ending her journey inside of Neji Sanji English. Her final message was, be the best Pomo you can be. Good night, Pomo. With an image that says, I'll never know how a fairy my size got to have as fun of an adventure that I've had here. Mm. I hope you'll remember to always stay passionate about what you love. Thank you for helping me create something I'll never forget. And I hope you'll never forget as well. Kick ass and be Pomo. Show the world your big pee, -pee energy. I love you all so much. Thank you. And this graduation has saddened a ton of people. This has gotten replies mm. from all of the Nichi Sanji members. This has gotten replies from people like Fuomoko instead of Hololive. Hololive members are upset. Indie VTubers are upset. Fans of Pomu are upset. Everyone is genuinely it's sad. Sad, to see yeah. Pomu go. And now, something that Pomu did, and she mentioned inside of that graduation stream, is that all of her membership streams, VODs, and content I really respect has that. All been made public. I respect you that a lot. You can now go view any membership stream she had. They are all visible to the public. Anyone can watch them now which is honestly such a wonderful thing for pomo to do mm. she wants people to be able to view all of her content and make sure yeah. everything that she's ever done inside of niji sanji can be seen by everyone yeah i don't know if i've ever seen a a vtuber do that like that's graduate like actually made all their membership stuff public however now that all of those streams are public people have found one stream where pomu was venting to her fans about an issue she had with niji sanji and people are tying this to being the reason why she decided to finally leave niji sanji and now this is a stream from about eight months ago that is just titled you pomu i did pomu i did hear about this that says sorry if i'm low energy this stream been kind of going through it i might rant but i mostly want to just chill and have fun talking and in that stream she ended up ranting and saying I have heard about, about this an opportunity that she had that was once in a lifetime oh, that no. was just flat out denied by Niji Sanji no conversation was had about it she was just told no there were no if ands but there was no yeah, conversation about on, it no discussion not... they just flat out said no and denied her request for an opportunity that she was offered that was to her a once in a lifetime opportunity for her and like I said many people are calling this the final nail on the coffin for Pomo and one of the biggest reasons for why she would have left Niji Sanji. Now, of course, that is just speculation yeah. on everyone's mm. part, but Pomo is leaving for better opportunities and stuff that she can do outside of Niji Sanji because she can't do certain things. Inside yeah, of it's, it seems like like so more creative, diff like creative things. Like she did stay like creatively, and it might generally be yeah, there might be some things where she feels like she can't get certain opportunities or the certain things she's always wanted to do that she can't do inside the company probably one of those things she might be able to do this opportunity outside of niji sanji but it's upsetting to her that she couldn't mm. do it and of course of and of course that being said right um i think that niji sanji's kind of shown to be sort of more stricter than like other companies because i mean i would hope like other companies at the very least would have a conversation but like you know always like obviously when you do join a, a company when you do join a a corpo there are certain obviously there's certain things you can't do there's of course going to be certain um opportunities that you can't have right of course like um there's always sacrifice that you need to make but i definitely do think that like at the very least, like, I feel like it, they should just at least, like, be able to negotiate, like, have a conversation with Pomu, let Pomu, like, really speak for herself. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, like, a flat-out no and just, like, no communication. I don't really feel like that's the right way to to go about it, but, um, it like, it makes sense. Um, I, mean, GPs, I don't think she really wanted to leave. No, no. one really thinks she wants to leave. She's genuinely sad. I, to I genuinely, genuinely, by the way that she, like, talked, it really did feel like she didn't want to leave. It was, like, it was really hard, even up to the end, about her leaving. I felt like more of, like, oh, she felt like she has to leave. As in, as in like, you know, for, as in, you know, obviously, like, she said, like, for herself and for her own 
mental health and well-being, she feels like that's the right decision for her. But of course, it, it also feels like in a way, you know, if things didn't have to be this way, she wouldn't have wanted to leave. You know, it, it really felt that way. Like, I kind of got the energy of, like, sometimes from, like, other people, I've kind of gotten the energy where they feel more content with leaving, but I really felt like Pomu, she, I, I felt like she, it was more sad, like, she felt, it felt genuine, like, genuinely, like she was really sad about having to leave, or feeling the need that she has to, obviously she's not, like, she wasn't forced to leave, but as in, like, she felt the need that she had to leave, or that's, like, the decision she needed to make. And I, I really, I really do feel like from like some of the other members, obviously they were sad to leave, but I felt more like this content feeling with like um, Nina and Mister to a certain extent. Like I felt like they were obviously sad about leaving, but I felt like in a way, I felt like they were more content about it in comparison to Pomu to leave. She liked being inside of Niji Sanji, and you can tell she did. But unfortunately, there was just no way she could continue staying. But here is that clip. It's a little long, and I will link the entire stream down below if you all want to go give it a listen. I don't know. There's been some stuff. Mm, there's been some stuff that's been frustrating me lately. I think mostly, like, creatively. And, like, you know, there was a... Mm, how do I put it? There was a really big opportunity that was that was given to me. Or rather, I don't know, asked of me? I don't know, offered to me? Offered to me. <laughs> offered to me. And, uh... Okay, this music is not helping me. <laughs> I don't even know why I chose it. Maybe because I... <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, but, uh... It... It would have been, like... Oh my god, you, you genuinely hear that she... She can genuinely just hear in her voice, like, she, she's, like, the pain, like, she's uh, so sad about it, she's devastated about it, you can hear in her voice, damn, oh my god, poor Pomu. I get why it wasn't accepted, but it's really frustrating. But things weren't negotiated or anything, it's just flat out no. really frustrated about because I felt like maybe it was maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity or something I don't know I was really excited about it but I felt like maybe things were turning around or something Oh my god, yeah, because, like, you know, because, like, they have all stated, right, 2023 was a tough year for Nichi Ien, and, and, and Pomu really felt like maybe, like, oh, this, this is a big opportunity for her, this one made her really happy, and would have been so big for her, that it felt like, yeah, like, things are turning around, and then just, yeah, like, not getting, like, saying just, like, flat out no, it's just, like, it, it must have been just, like, giant, like, just kick in the gut, you know? on my mind a lot. I've just been thinking about it. <laughs> no, I can't say what it is, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't think you, she could say what it is. I mean, I definitely I definitely don't think it's, like, the only reasons. I think it's kind of, like, just, like, factors sort of, like, building up, right? I'm I'm sure there's probably other reasons, too, but I feel like this... I, I don't think it's an understatement to say this could be, like, a big reason, right? That, like, if... um And I, I've, I've seen um some of this clip, too, where she says, like, at the end, she's like... This is the only op like I feel like there's no more opportunities that are gonna come to me. That's massive. Behind the curtain, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I don't know 
what to really think right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks for the virtual hug. <laughs> that I know. Um, that, you know, maybe, I mean, maybe it wasn't gonna be good. I don't know, but mm. there's always like what ifs, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, if I don't know if I don't try, which is when it's frustrating. Because I'm typically a person that likes to. To think positively? At least Try. You try and yeah, you do try. You work very hard, Pomu. So and more opportunities will come. I don't think so. Not maybe not here. That's oh my god. That's that's a massive thing. Their main like more opportunity. Like he's like oh, no. Like maybe there'll be more opportunities, but no opportunities here that's massive because i feel like you know in terms of being a talent feeling like there's no more opportunities to come to you again can i think that can really hurt your sense of motivation and your sense of like you know to continue to, to continue to go and move forward you know like there's no like feeling like oh there's no more opp like I feel like there's no more opportunities that are gonna come to me in terms of like growth or in terms of like do being able to do like new creative things and feeling like oh like if I get these like special opportunities that they may just flat out say no to me again like that's a major thing that is like that's a massive thing that can definitely make make you feel frustrated can burn you out and can kind of really hurt your motivation to continue, right? And that, I think, can be, honestly, like, obviously, don't speculate, don't speculate too much, but that could very much so be a reason, you know, feeling like that there's no more opportunities that are going to come to her, or maybe if there's another opportunity that hypothetically came that was, like, as big as this for her, and probably most likely the company would just say no again you know that that is a major thing like that's massive it really is but it is what it is i suppose now unfortunately now that that stream and all of its comments have been made public people have been going into the comment section of that stream saying some heinous things attacking members of palmo saying that it's what? their fault that she's leaving that's because they so dumb anything about this fans going back and forth members of palmo are upset that this was made public because now it's causing drama and it's just a back and forth between people being upset with each other and people being upset with Pomo, people being upset with Nichi Sanji, oh back and forth, man. awful comment section. I, mean, oh, I don't think the yeah. blame needs to be put on, on anybody. Yeah. I don't really know what people expect the members of Pomo to do about this situation. If Nichi Sanji said no about something, there's literally nothing. There's nothing can they do can do, that. yeah. Sure, they can just say they're not going to throw money anymore, but. Pomo saying she's going to graduate obviously didn't change anything for them. One of the really sad things about that whole video, though, is like the end of it, where she says that she doesn't think more opportunities yeah, that's, like that are that's going to come, major. especially inside of Niji Sanji. She was slowly losing hope, and that's probably yeah. what led to her graduating. I, yeah, I, I really do feel like it's that, it's, it's that way that 2023 was tough, and that she was like, it, it sort of feels like the that that hope, like the cat, say a candle that she that burnt brightly in the sense of like, she really had her heart and and soul into this company. She loved this company working in it. And then just like her faith and her hope inside the company in the sense of like, you know, having special opportunities and, and things to come to her just sort of, sort of burnt, burnt down to its core. And it's just sad because she doesn't see herself getting any more big opportunities or anything from them at this point there's a situation going on with that please just let me know what you all think about that down below as that's all for me today guys please yeah and it's like maybe she feels like you know if she leaves and she hype you know she's on her own or she goes somewhere else that maybe more of these opportunities could come to her i don't really know but um it is really sad um 
Her ideas getting shot down repeatedly must have been frustrating for Pomu. Obviously, I can't blame her for leaving. I mean, yeah, I feel like definitely, but like, in, in any situation, like, I do feel like, yeah, getting your ideas just constantly shut down is definitely frustrating. It's definitely, like, annoying. Like, it, it would, I think it would beat anybody down, you know? I think also, it, it kind of feels like also, I think, it's the fact that they didn't even want to communicate with her about it also. Like, they didn't even want to talk to her about it or, like, negotiate to her about it. I think it's also, like, a major thing. It's like, at the very least, they're gonna say no, maybe, like, have, like, talk to her about it, but just saying, like, flat out no, I think it's even more frustrating, you know? Like, not even being able to, not even being able to talk about it, to me, that would be even more frustrating. But, um, yeah, but, uh, I guess there's not really anything we can, we can honestly do about it now, you know? Because, obviously, uh, Pomu now has, uh, graduated, but, um, yeah, so let me know down in the comments what you guys, uh, think. Of course, um, like, don't, don't send hate to anybody, okay? Like, it's not the fucking Pomodachi's fault, it's, like, oh, that's not the member's fault, this is dumb. But uh, anyway, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, didn't enjoy this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and join the community, the channel on this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, though, hopefully the management just gets better, so, like, like, don't, don't push more members out by, like, making them frustrated like this, like, come on, okay, but, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next one, bye-bye!